This is a set of electronics that a customer wanted me to redo for him so he can run a plasma cutter. This is his electronics enclosure and most of the electronics is his, but he did not have this particular controller. I elected to use the Pokies 57 CNC controller for this application. And this controller can be used with a THC, a torch height controller. And in this case, it is the Proma Compact THC. All of the wiring was stripped out I cleaned the enclosure and all of the electronics, repositioned the components in a more logical way, and rewired everything back together. The existing wiring was a rat's nest, so that needed to be done. I positioned the controller so I could use this hole for the USB port. He won't be using the Ethernet port, but that is an option. I am using three of the eight motor axis ports on the controller, but four drivers and motors are used. The two drivers on the right are used for one axis and they are connected together so they're synchronized. I'm just jumping the signals from one driver to the next to do this. This machine uses two motors for one axis as this is the heaviest axis, which is to move the gantry. The other two are for the Y and Z axis. The cables and connectors you see connected to the controller is from a cable pack that I sell for this controller, which are standard IDC ribbon cables and connectors. I arranged the drivers, power supplies, and controller to put as much space between the delicate signal wires and the high power motor cables and wires. I do this because the ribbon cables are not shielded. If the motor cables and these ribbon cables are positioned close to each other, especially in parallel, the delicate signal wires can become noisy and cause unpredictable behavior. I also used the zip tie cable combing technique. It makes the cable run so much more organized and you can see exactly where each cable goes. The five blue wires you can see between the controller and the drivers are the signal wires and power wires from the Pokies 57 CNC controller to the torch height controller. The power supply in this enclosure is a 48 volt power supply and already existed in this enclosure so I'm just reusing it. The small power supply to the left of the 48 volt power supply is a 24 volt power supply that I added so I can power the Pokies 57 CNC controller. The e-stop was already provided in the enclosure, so I just hooked it up to the Pokies 57 CNC controller. I don't usually like to put the e-stops on the electronics enclosure. E-stops should be located in a position where the e-stop button is easily accessible. This ribbon cable is connected to the Proma Torch High Controller. I'm using the encoders connector on the controller and using pins 8, 12, and 13 to control the up, down, and arc OK for the Torch High Controller. You can see that I'm routing the THC wires into the enclosure through this hole and then to a terminal strip where I connect the blue wires to each wire of the ribbon cable. The 24 volt power supply also provides power to the THC. Of course, I'm not using all of the wires in the ribbon cable. Only three of the wires are going to the terminal strip. The THC controls the movement of the Z axis to make sure the proper arc is occurring at the nozzle. Here's a more close up view of how I have the wires connected to the controller and to the power supply. THC on is also referred to as arc OK in most THC controllers and controllers that connect to THCs. I'm going to demonstrate the use of the torch height controller through Mach 3. This Pokies 57 CNC controller is also compatible with Mach 4, but these features will work fine with either Mach 3 or Mach 4. When I start the Mach 3 loader, I'm using the plasma selection. This is kind of important as Mach 3 doesn't really know how to handle the signals unless it's in this selection. In the Pokies 57 CNC configuration in Mach 3, you'll need to set up the pin 8 to THC up, pin 12 to THC on, and pin 13 to THC down. You have a lot of flexibility here, but make sure that the function that you select for the pin is connected to the correct wire or pin on the THC. For instance, if you decide you want pin 8 to be THC on, make sure that pin 8 is in fact connected to the THC on terminal at the torch height controller. I'm going to load a file that I made to test all of the axes. I named this file plasma THC test, so I'm just going to load that. I currently have the Proma THC in test mode. I first want to show you what happens when the THC is not in test mode. To get in and out of test mode, I'm pressing the two up and down arrow simultaneously until I see the word end. I'm going to use the M3 command to simulate turning on the torch. I configured the M3 command to be connected to the output number 1, which will engage the first mechanical relay on the controller. There are four relays on this controller to pick from. 
When I type in the M3 command and press enter, you can see that the first relay's LED is lit. You can also see that the torch light is blinking. The torch on and off button is a substitute for the M3 command. I'm using the M5 command to turn off the torch. You can see that the relay LED is off and the torch light is off. I will start the process by pressing the cycle start button. Nothing should happen because there is no arc OK because the THC is not in test mode. You can see that the relay turned on, but because this unit is not actually connected to a plasma torch, you can only see an arc OK when the THC is in test mode. To get the THC in test mode, the up and down arrows are pressed simultaneously until the letters TST appear. You can see the motors are moving, but the Z axis is still not turning because the THC reset needs to be pressed in Mach 3. You want to make sure to reset the THC in this section of Mach 3 or you won't see any movement in the Z-axis. You can see that the THC LEDs on the controller is blinking from down and up. And you can also see that the motor for the Z-axis is moving up and moving down, which shows that the THC is commanding Mach 3 to move the Z-axis successfully. I intended to make this a quick video to help anyone that needed this information now. I really appreciate you staying for this entire video and please press the thumbs up button and make a comment so this video gets some traction and can help those who need this type of information. Thank you so much.